Oh God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, I bought two shirts that were different, brighter colors. Not A, super out of my comfort zone. And B, ah shit. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, I'm green screening essentially. God, if it didn't have the little black squiggles in it, I'd be screwed. Also, if you couldn't see my nips, it wouldn't be a try not to grin. Anyway. Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Try Not To Grin. We are back on our memes tab. I'm, I always, do, by the way, I always do these before we do anything because it gets me in a good mood <laughs> and I talk my ass off and I have not said a word the whole day. So it just gets me into the rhythm of things, so to speak. So let's get into some good old memes, laughter, nonsense, etc. Starting off real. <laughs> also, I see my name. <laughs> um, I just want to know what happened. Why are Grin's fingers too short? <laughs> Who's, what's your perception of too short, okay? What, what, what if your fingers are too long, okay? <laughs> because at this point, I'm a, uh, I apologize and uh, I'm too afraid to ask. Okay, well ladies and gentlemen, first of all, it's the pretext, if you were like, hey Stumpy, like people used to call me in kindergarten, love it, anyways, <laughs> Stumpy, what the fuck is your problem? Then that would be less ideal. But if you're just like, hey dude, what's, uh, what's the story behind your hands? That's a great way to phrase it. <laughs> and I'll be like, unfortunately, there's no story. It's just you popped into the world and this was your set of cards. Um, uh, but yeah, what do you call it? Also, uh, I've meant uh, some, some of my boys <laughs> coming in because I've talked about this before. Also, again, you don't need to apologize, especially in the way you asked wasn't in the slightest. Even if you asked abrasively, I don't think it'd be that bad. It's, it's, a, it's a thing that's caught. I talk with my hands. So it just makes sense that people are like, what the fuck, what, what? Uh, birth defect. Ooh, I haven't heard that in a while, but that, that's, a, that's a little too real. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's been covered in a video and answered uh, in a few a few times on stream. And then Candy Wolf says, uh, like a long time ago, guys, guys, literally in every single video, including this one, <laughs> Including this one, every video I've uploaded for the last year or two years, more than that, there's been open the description. What's what happened to your hands? And it's me basically. I don't know what I say exactly, but I say basically. I wish I had a cooler story. I was just born that way. I know some people got like some badass story where they ate shit off a mountain bike and their hand fucking gra they grabbed onto the ground and it shredded off fingertips. No, mine was just popped out and this is what's happened. Also, I was born with webbed fingers and I was also born with my intestines outside of my body. And now your boy has a little baby scar right there. So, uh, so yeah, basically I was born a mutant. Freak horrific. <laughs> but hey, you can get by. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. And, and on the topic of that, we're already going on tangents. On the topic of all that, I would consider my lot in life uh, to be quite, quite significantly better than people who have brain chemistry out of whack. Uh, or not out of whack, sorry, but just off a little bit or in a way that would mean that you are more prone to depression, schizophrenia, and stuff like that. I would consider I, I pulled the lucky end of the, sh uh, the shtick, uh, although I might be an optimist. <laughs> so I, I, yeah. But also, the good, the good news about being born with something and not like having lost something is that I never know what the alternative is. The only thing I think is, oh, I bet this would maybe be easier with more finger real estate. But uh, other than that, yeah, anyways, memes. <laughs> um, teacher. Class dismissed. Classmates. You forgot your homework, and then everyone comes and just ready to murder that person. I feel like you ruined a very cool moment. <laughs> but, funny meme. But, <laughs> this meme in Black Clover is pretty sick. Although, uh, this dude is like a douche. You know they do that thing in anime where they just hyper stack, like, the worst traits within a person? Like, it's just like, how did you survive being this shitty <laughs> all your life? And in the show, it actually makes some sense because he's actually like a, he's gifted with power and all that. Who <laughs> does <laughs> like time to collect? There's an event in uh, Genshin which just basically murdered your enemy, you murdered your team, and you had to run over and heal them up or eat a bunch of food. Honestly, for a lot of us who have like 200 uh, food items or one meal and a thousand other meals, uh, yeah. Also, I'm cold, man. Ugh. <laughs> This was a mistake. I feel like spiders are gonna crawl in my nice blanket and they're gonna get on me. <laughs> Anyways. Main character does something. It, what? Main character does something. I've never seen this word. Erot erotically. 
Okay, I've never seen that word written down. <laughs> erotically stupid. Why is it that? It, why, why is it erotically stupid? <laughs> what? Anyways, his harem's reaction. Over it, a pissed, and, and into it. See, just by this, I know who's best wife who. Is this the barbell anime? I think it's the barbell anime. Looks great. I'm embarrassed, but I'm also Hadada curious. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, this one is uh, in the barbell anime, which I have not watched, is a creep <laughs> in a good way. She's like hyper into musculature and such. Anywho, <laughs> uh, my dad leaving the house, seeing uh, you next year, me noticing it's already past midnight. <laughs> Oh shit, maybe your dad drank too much on New Year's, you know, still kicking it, you know? Also, ew, <laughs> fucking yuck, dude. People be down bad, people, <laughs> people be hella down bad. Also, it's so funny because like the, like, just on the topic of like, ludification of things, it drives me mental because there's so many instances where it's like, do you know how beautiful, like, even if we take away the disgusting aspect, do you know how beautiful art is? Like, how, how you can draw something with, like, lighting, reflection, uh, possibility of whatever, uh, weird proportioned out perfect symmetrical features. And etc. If you seen a normal human being spitting in some coffee, it'd be fucking foul, okay? <laughs> Even this is pretty foul. Anyways, what is the punchline again? He's like, great, this is some serious gourmet stuff. Okay. Also, for everyone, please do not uh, come for Lone Syndicate and its meme choices, okay? I think I, I egged him on a good bit by saying uh, he gives me thumbnail real estate on the daily, on every one of these, which I appreciate. Uh, or he might be this down bad <laughs> all the time. No judgment here, my guy. No judgment here. Just worth a chuckle for me. Anyways, if roosters can start the day by screaming, <laughs> then damn it, so can I. <laughs> I feel like I could fuck up a cow. You know what I mean? I feel like all I, uh, unless they got like a really good running start, like bulls and cows, I think are different, hopefully. <laughs> uh, but if one started jumping at me, I feel like I could grab it by the neck swing around on it like a horse and then fucking like pull to the left as hard as i possibly could and kick out its legs although then maybe most of its weight would land on me and that would definitely crush me if it had any sort of momentum i don't know i think i would just run i think i would literally just run and try to drop kick their own legs so that they would like break this way because otherwise i feel like they're real top heavy and they're they're little got little gym bro legs <laughs> you see a guy in the gym who's fucking Built like a brick shit up top, calves are nothing. <laughs> calves look emaciated. When she sees that my Spider-Man socks match my Spider-Man underwear, I bet there's a an instance of actually dope ass Kai. Uh, was it K Calvin Klein? Whatever it's called, like underwear with with some like cool webbing, like black on on like darker black, so it's like meshed a little bit. I can see that being neat. Also, I don't know what it is, and it could just be me being weird. But this meme with the girl being like, ooh, is actually like wildly appealing and attractive. I don't know why, I'm just gonna throw that out there real quick. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like, no one has ever looked at most men like this. And it's, she's probably looking at a woman, honestly. <laughs> NASA, we used to have nine planets, but now we only have eight. Pluto, stop telling someone I'm not a planet. NASA, sometimes we can still hear its voice. Look. I'm not saying that demoting a planet named after Roman, a Roman god of death, stoked his rage and brought down on us his vengeful fury and retribution, but gestures to everything, finally, uh, an explanation. I don't know enough about astrology or... No, that's not right. <laughs> Is that, that's not right. <laughs> that's the white girl science. Anyway, sorry. I don't know enough about anything, <laughs> any of this. I'm the only thing I'm into aliens okay. <laughs> and potentially like like living on mars and how living on mars the generation of people who live on mars might be like fundamentally built different than people on, on earth because of uh of gravity and density also imagine how fucking dope fucking awesome it would be to be gen one a martian well no imagine how dope it would be to live on earth your whole life then to go to mars and then to fucking space jump like it's like you're fucking hulk <laughs> that'd be sick it's probably not to that extent you might get like a couple extra feet but anyways in my head it's cool and then imagine for a martian bat coming to earth and just fucking f getting flattened or being like <gasps> i'm getting crushed be excessive but anyway <laughs>
Cowboy Bebop or something. I don't know. I don't watch it. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you know something that is pretty sacrilege? I have yet to watch that show, although it looks very good. I just, there's so much, it's the, it's the con, the constant conundrum of like the anime bookmark folder. It just keeps getting bigger and you don't want to fall behind on like relevant talking points to anime. So you kind of have to make sure you like, you leave some behind and you collect the others. And I know it's, it's good, but there's a lot of other good shows that people don't know about as much, you know? Boys, 10 steals parents' car to visit grandparents 68 miles away, then tells the police he is a dwarf who has forgotten his license. Sneak speech illusion. Does it work? Because otherwise speech ain't great. <laughs> I would argue all of this was awful. <laughs> I would say you are level one in every one of these stats. Also, sneak bar is not even filled. He got caught. Sneak shit. Real sh just real shit. Speech. Did he evade the cops? Presumably, no. <laughs> um, illusion magic. They could tell he's a child, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Although I do think we live in a world where everyone has so many, so much anxiety about misperceiving somebody uh, that, uh, that yeah, you're like, oh, that, that, okay, <laughs> I'm, whatever, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I, oh God. This is one of the rare, rare times where it is cropped really well, but still remains absurdly high quality. <laughs> it's the only reason why I want to show you guys this one. Uh, well, I don't know if it's good or not. Let's see. When you finally defeat the final boss after dying multiple times. Why are you so close to your, your controller? It's like there's a lot of dirt and shit on there. You guys ever see the horrible thing with controllers where you look down and you're like, what am I? What am I? <laughs> Why am I secreting like a weird... Ugh. <laughs> I noticed it on my mouse. I gotta wipe it off and I'm like, what happened to me? What is going on? She seems to be pretty happy about beating a boss though. Anyway, when your parents ask, also no one did the, uh, the mark everything is uh, spoiler free or spoiler. Great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys said a couple months ago, by the time, the, by the time this video gets up, it's most certainly <laughs> been said. <laughs> so no, everyone's like, ah, fuck it. It's too much work. I agree. I hundred percent understand. But I was hoping that one person or two people would <laughs> try it. When your parents ask what your plan uh, to do in the future, I'll draw how to the illustrations and make money. I mean, coming from a person who's looking a lot, especially this year, into like like supply, demand, businessy weird things, like value proposition, all this fucking shit. Anyways, uh, I honestly don't think at this point, I don't know if you can. Now, yes, the market of you know people being down bad profitable right now especially yeah but uh i think it just sounds fucked up but i think you need to specialize in some sort of weird thing in order for it to be like okay because that's how you get your ball rolling you know what i mean that you need then you need to specify maybe you might not even like what you're specifying but you just need to be like this weird niche does anyone want oh wow oh my okay there's a lot of you weird but okay i'll keep drawing it odd <laughs> and then you snowball ball <laughs> <laughs> I've seen this. This looks so cute with Yai and the main character. Where she's like hugging him, like, oh my god, it's so cute. And yeah, Ayaka was like, <laughs> What do you think this is? <laughs> Ayaka, peace was never an option. Brutal. That's pretty wicked, too. The blood splatter, a nice touch. Anyways, again, I've, I, I, think, I haven't heard one person that challenges me on this, but I think the most, and maybe there's different ones, but I feel like the most, like, like nudge, nudge, nod, nod, uh, is is definitely Ayaka. Ayaka is for the female side of things in terms of like, it seems pretty like relationship date slash like something you would tell your kids about how you met your mother kind of fucking weird system <laughs> of like her quest. Um, and the only one I, the other one I think for dudes, I think would be definitely Garu. Garu goes really hard in the paint when it's like, <laughs> like you're a cute dog boy. <laughs> it goes hard all the time. With There's that. a weird, I'm not sure I'll put this in the video. There's a weird thing with like with things where where I don't know there's there's the like the Shota thing in anime and I feel like there's less if not none of people being grossed out about it and to me I'm like it's the same <laughs> I'm sorry it's the same I, I, I can't rationalize how the other one the woman equivalent is awful I hate it and then there's this one which I still think is awful and I hate it um, in terms of, especially considering a child doesn't know fucking anything 
All right, and then the people get creepy and they're like, but actually some kids are smarter than others. And I'm like, gross. You're already, you're on a weird side of history, my guy. I'm worried, all right? I, maybe there's, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not ready to have this conversation and it's too much. <laughs> it's too much for me. I'm going to fuck your dad and give him a child he actually loves. I just saw a girl stream get harassed by a dude she beat and she popped off with, I'm going to your dad and then give him a child and he'll actually, that he'll actually love. Bro, how the fuck do you recover from that? I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't, I don't know about this, but I'm just kind of like, that's a lot of work, dude. <laughs> You're going to go, <laughs> thanks for my <laughs> and then, and then go through the fucking agony of, <laughs> of birthing a child. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why, but my brain just does not look at like childbirth at all. Like a gotcha, bitch. <sighs> also, while you're doing that, I could find someone else. I don't know. The people saying this gets your body. I don't know. I think there's definitely ones out there that hurt, but this one to me, I'm just like. That's a lot on your eye, <laughs> on your behalf. <laughs> at best, I just gotta not look at you and walk away, <laughs> essentially. An American Howling Retriever is a breed of dog with extremely coyote-like fe features. That sentence hurts me, I don't know why. <laughs> In fact, the only difference between it and a common coyote is my refusal, <laughs> refusal to ever admit I've made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and all the Benadryl I keep giving it <laughs> to not maul me. I was good. That's a good. That one's that was real good. I like that one a lot. That one uh, saved. I love the ones where they you know, get you into a false sense of security. And you're like, all right, I'm just reading some shit. Never mind. This has a hell of a punchline and the whole shit of it. Because I was about to say, you have a wolf. <laughs> you have a wolf looking thing. Also, coyotes, man. I don't know. Coyotes are just sick animals. I hate them. <laughs> I, mean, I love dogs. I hate coyotes. If you like dogs, you should hate coyotes too. <laughs> This woman knitted a life-sized model of her teen son because he constantly resists her cuddles. Her dead son is 100% inside that dude. I would be fucking terrified. I would be like, hey mom, I'll cuddle you. Just stop. <laughs> oh my god. This is the worst. Also, this is... Like, I can't even describe how much this gives you, like, the creepy, in every way. And, like, the, why do you want to touch and fucking be with all up in your shit all, with the, the, the doll thing? And also, why does his skin look like that? <laughs> so, I hate that. Give me nightmares. Hate it. Yeah, thank you. Bleach my eyes, anime. Thank you. And Lolly, anime writers. She's a 400-year-old something. Yes. Anime is not real, they say. Stop fantasizing, they say. I mean, yeah, I still think it's not real. <laughs> yes, like the pretext of thighs existing and you being able to have something like that is true. The idea that you'll find the person that will do this for it, honestly, pretty easy. I feel like that's not a big ask. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty chill, honestly. All things considered, not getting choked, <laughs> crazy shit. Anyway, it's the thickness of the legs and the, and the fucking craziness of the skin, dog. That's what. That's the shit that's wild. Look, fucking look at that anime. Fucking look at that glowing ass skin and this person over here pale as hell. <laughs> okay, she looks great. <laughs> I'm just saying. SpaceX is planning to uh, colonize Mars. Doom One took place in 2022. Doom 1 took place in 2022. Doom takes place next year. Well, unless you're the Slayer or have a really, like, ungodly amount of love for uh, fluffy animals to the point in which you're willing to go through any possible amount of pain. Maybe. <laughs> Other than that, Google. <laughs> Google, not great. Also, you have to be a Marine, so you probably have to go through much shit before that. Anyways, luckily, hopefully, you'll, uh, you'll get introduced by some sort of weird, like, angel demigod-like thing. Uh, that will give you godlike powers. Uh, and you still don't save humanity, but you have a really cool sky fortress where you can play video games, but you are in fact alone. Yes, besides a robot thing that doesn't seem to like you very much, but seems to be impressed by you and afraid of you. Possibly a win. <laughs> I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Hope you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. This was awesome, man. I again, the series is like a hug to me. I know for you guys, you're probably like, Grin, we, we get it. We get it. For jokes, me. Stop it. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? 
fucking not watch. Don't watch. <laughs> don't, don't watch. I'm, I'm making this for me. It's January. It is January. <laughs> okay. See, everything is pointless. <laughs> January on YouTube. I'm still here though, but I'm here for also me. Okay. Most of the days of the year, I'm here for y'all. To this this month, I'm here for you, my boy, my, which is me. <laughs> I'm number one, my boy. Anyway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much, so much for putting out with me. Uh, and uh, yes, let me know your thoughts on whatever the hell we talked about. Thank you again, and goodbye.